What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you like AI and coding in R, then you are absolutely going to love this because we just added both of these things onto Analyst Builder. These are two of the most popular features that were requested by the Analyst Builder community. They wanted to be able to program in R on the questions page, and they wanted to have some AI integrated so they didn't have to go onto ChatGPT and kind of plug in everything over there and then come back and figure things out. And we absolutely agreed with everybody. And so we've been working for the past several months to get that integrated into the platform, and now they are both here. Now, in just a second, I'm going to jump on my screen, we're going to take a look at both of these new features, but I kind of want to walk through why both of these are so big. The first thing is that there aren't many platforms where you can really practice R for technical interviews. R is a very popular language for analysts to use, and a lot of companies will do technical interviews on it if they use it at their company. And so we absolutely want to support the R community and those people who want to practice and get ready for those technical interviews. The next thing is that AI is going to be integrated into a lot of things. And so it didn't really make sense for our platform to just be a coding place where you had to use another system in order to actually code, a lot of places have it integrated now. And so we wanted to have it integrated as well. So with that being said, let's jump onto my screen and take a look at both of these new features. All right, everybody, here we are on our questions page. Uh, let's come down here and let's start with an easy one. Well, we'll just do an easy one just for the sake of things. I've completed this one in Python and MySQL, but I haven't completed it in PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, or R. So let's jump into this one. And let's take a look. So right now we have R pulled up. This is now an option in our questions page. You can start using this right now. Now it says it's in beta because you know we're just releasing it is our first time. So if there's any issues or bugs, we'll take care of it very quickly, but you can now go in and use R. Now this is a very simple one. We have this questions page, we have this movie theater and we're just selecting the customer IDs who bought M&Ms, Snickers and Twizzlers. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work through this and then I'm also gonna use this Ask AI to basically help us as we go along. Now this is a very simple one uh, and so I could just ask it to write it for me. It would definitely be able to do that because it's a very simple question, but I can also ask it to explain things to us to help us understand what's actually going on. And if I run into any issues, then I can ask it to help fix it. And so I think it's gonna be a pretty good demonstration of R and AI on the platform. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now the first thing that you'll notice is we're reading in this library dplyr. This is basically the equivalent of like pandas in Python. And a lot of people even say that dplyr is better than pandas in Python. So it is up to you to test this out and see what you think. But this is a very, very popular library for data analysts and a lot of people who work with data frames and structured data. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna read this in. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start writing this, but let's go over here to ask AI. Now our Analyst Builder AI is technically still in its beta phase because we only released it a little while ago, but we've been getting its prompting right. We've been getting it to get the output that we really like. And so uh, it's really great. If you have a subscription to Analyst Builder, you'll have free access to our beta. Once we are extremely confident that is working exactly how we want, we're gonna take it out of beta and you'll get a lot more prompts because you get about 20 per day right now just to test it out, just so that we can get feedback from the community. Uh, but you'll get a lot more in the future. So let's come in here and let's just say, how do I solve this in R? Now, what's really great about this is it takes into account a lot of different things. It reads in the question, it reads in the data, it even reads in your live code. And so it can see exactly what you're writing and I'll show you that in a little bit. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of break down the question. It's just not going to give you the answer and you can prompt it to say, hey, write this code for me. But this is a learning platform. We want you to actually learn and not just get the answer from the AI. So it is gonna prompt you and basically say, hey, here's how you can solve this. Here's how you can do it. So let's take a look at what it does recommend. It says you want to select the customer IDs for these things. So we're gonna need to put it in a data frame using a dplyr library. Then we're gonna need to filter the customers based off the purchased items column. And then it gives a little bit of extra information on what we wanna do and even gives us a smiley face. So it's very, very friendly. Um, but let's follow this a little bit. Let's start writing this out and see if we can get the correct answer. The first thing that we wanna do is create a different data frame. So I'm gonna say uh, customers here. So I'm gonna say customers, and then I need to create my uh, pipe here. So this is just so that we can use different functions later on, like the filter and our select functions. But I'm gonna assign this to a new data frame. We'll call this one good customers, and we'll just assign it like this. So now we have this good customers data frame. This is what we're gonna be using going forward. Next, we just want to filter this before we actually select our data. We're gonna filter based off of this purchased item because again, we just need to select the m and Snickers, and Twizzlers. So we're gonna hit our tab right here. And what we're gonna say is we're gonna say filter. And then what are we gonna filter on? We want to filter on the purchased items. So let's come down here. 
let's copy this. And then we wanna say if it's in, and then we'll do our open parentheses and we just need to put these in. Now I can do it just like this actually, and it'll go a lot faster and I'll get rid of this or right here. And now what we can do is let's just check to see if this is working right. So let's come down here, we're gonna say good customers. Let's go ahead and run this. And we're gonna get this error in here. Now, let's say I don't know what's going on. I actually do know uh, what's wrong in here, but let's ask our AI. Let's say, uh, what's wrong with my code? And it's going to read in our code live. And it's gonna give us some options of what could be wrong with it. So it's going to tell us, it's gonna say, no worries, let's look at your code. So the issue is with how you're using the in operator. We have to use this C right here. This basically means concatenate or combine. And so we have to use that. So let's come back here and let's add this C right here. And now let's try to run our code. And as you can see, it is now working. So now we are filtering based off of this data. So that's just a small example of how the AI can be really helpful if we're running into small you know, syntax issues, super easy to fix and solve. Now we're gonna add another uh, pipe right here. Let's come down and now we're gonna select the correct column. So we're gonna say select. And the only one that we want is this customer ID right here. We're gonna go ahead and run this. And of course that's not gonna work because I did the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and run this. Now this should be our final answer. This should be the correct output. Let's go ahead and check this answer. And we got our solution is correct. Now one other thing to mention is the AI isn't only here in the questions page. Let's go back and let's go to one of our courses. Let me go to my dashboard and uh, let's go to the advanced MySQL for data analysis. We also have our AI integrated into here as well. So you can come in here. And so if you're having trouble understanding some concepts, you don't fully understand, let's say triggers in MySQL. Well, you can come in there, you can ask it a lot of questions and it can explain it maybe in a different way than I'm explaining it. And it'll help you work through any issues that you're having. And you won't have to actually leave right here to go to ChatGPT or Anthropic or any other AI platform. It's all built in. So you don't have to go to all these different places. And so we're working insanely hard behind the scenes to make this the best platform for data analysts. As you can tell, the AI is a huge one. I just think it is absolutely fantastic. I think it is one of the best ways to learn how to use AI when you're actually learning it. And so you can prompt it and ask questions and generate code. It's amazing. And then of course, R has just been a highly requested feature from the R community. A lot of people use it and they love it and they wanted it here on the platform. And so we're super excited to finally launch that and give that to you guys. I'll be launching a full program with R for Data Analyst course. That's gonna be right after I finish my Power BI course, which I'm currently working on. And in just a week or so, we'll be launching our Advanced Excel for Automations course. So we have a lot of amazing things coming to Analyst Builder. If you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other ideas or suggestions or features that you wanna see on the platform, be sure to put it in the comments because we really do take these suggestions seriously. And we're working right now on future features that were recommended by the community. So we have a lot of great things coming to the platform. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Analyst Builder. I'll have links in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching this. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.